Welcome back to Mzanzi Magic Music Special. We're still hanging out with Ricky. Rick, Boss Zonke. Um, you know, before the break, you spoke about, you know, what you would have said to a younger version of you. And you spoke about the fact that, you know, you wanted to... You wish you made more mistakes. Yeah. Right? Let's talk about Boss Zonke. Oh! <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah. Is that you stepping into, like, your godliness now? You're... you're, you're you're becoming who you thought you would be at this point. Uh, cr crazy enough, yes, because when you're making music or creating something, the the magical things sort of come out of like a little spark mm -hmm. in the shower. Mm -hmm. Like once you think you're done, mm -hmm. then like it just something hits you, like some message gets sent to you. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened with that. I was in the shower and I just heard this this little like, bell in my head. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't even put the soap on. I took, I, I jumped straight out the shower. And then I went to the computer and I just put in those little, you know, those two little notes. It's just two notes. Ding, 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 ding. Those little three notes. Literally 15 minutes later, there was Bozonga, you know. For me, it reminded me like, okay, you can have any plan for life. Right. And uh, the, the magical moments, you know, like, uh, the classic moments that people remember forever, the timeless mm -hmm. moments can be those ones that just got sent to you from God right, or sent right. to you, you know, just from somewhere else. Right. It didn't come from you thinking about this is what I need to do, this is what I need to sound like. It just comes from somewhere else, unexpected. Mm. That's what Boss Onke was. And even the response to it, uh, it sort of carried on. It carried on and affirmed that message that it, you can't plan certain things. It just happens naturally. Would you say that's how you landed up on Ama Piano? No, I mean... Um, that same, like, things just happen, you know? Um, no. Life moves in a different way. Or was it more strategic than that? No, I mean, I, I don't know. People will say you, you ended up here or you're doing Ama Piano, doing whatever, you know. I think people forget that one of the first songs... One of the first songs we, we came out with was Slice of you know? Mm -hmm. And Slice of I made that beat three years before it came out, mm -hmm. uh, b before anyone knew who Ricky Rick was. So, uh, we have, me personally, I always hear debates about hip hop versus piano and artists doing this. And that. Me personally, the people that I know, that I make music with, the people that I work with when we make music, we have never been limited to, genre. to any genre. What we were always trying to do was to push his sound, Yase Lokshi, his sound, Yase Mzant. Mm. That was our, our key goal. And so when I look at Upiano, or when I look at any other new genre that pops up, that takes over, I look at it as like, finally, mm. the kids understand mm. that they don't need the 808. Right. The kids understand, and whether we can bang out to the 88, we can do it also. But now they understand that, oh, I can make a dirty song the way that Mujava did it. Right. You know, right. I can do that that way, that sound that took him to London. I can also do it. Okay, sharp, let's do it. How do you want to be remembered? I really don't know, but... You don't know? No, I don't know how to explain how people must remember you, or people should remember you. And... At this stage of my life, I don't really care how people mm -hmm. remember you. Okay, that's but uh, as, 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 as long as I've left something mm -hmm. that people can build on, even if they forget, they can forget me, dog. <laughs> me, I'm not, not important. But there must be something that we have created or that we have built that someone else can run with. Got it. So... I mean, they can forget me, but uh, as long as they remember to operate something, that's important for me. <laughs> 